so this intro call is uh is really to lay the groundwork because when I was going over the applications that some that men submitted, some men are unfamiliar with what a, a mastermind group is and like how it even operates. So I want this intro call before we kick off next week. I wanted us all to have an opportunity to to get an idea of what a mastermind group is and what this mastermind group is going to look like because there's going there may be some different twists and tints here, and um, some of the content that. And I'm going to have over the weeks, um, we'll have some content from, from Heal Thy Man Method, which is a, a book for men to really up level and, get, and step their game up. So this is what we're going over today. All right. We got our check-in, which we just did, ground rules. We're going to talk about, we talked about the intention, which is to level up. Um, want to check in. How many men have something that they want to dive in and accomplish by a show of hands? Okay. Fresh. Awesome. Listen. The intention is to support other men in this. So one of the intentions of this group is to display to men and to allow or give a space for men to teach themselves how to be supported by other men in the highest form. This is also about learning how to even get support, right? What that can look like, right? and educate ourselves into something new so that we can allow ourselves to be vulnerable, allow ourselves to be willing, allow ourselves to surrender, allow ourselves to grow, okay? Now, coming back to this sheet, um, now that we have our intentions, we're gonna, let's go over the format. We're gonna go tools, resources, and then give time for questions, okay? I do encourage you, men, listen, if anything's coming up and you have a question, there's going to be some times where we're talking. We already did a check-in. There's going to be some times when I'm talking and I'm going to stop so you all can talk and give me some feedback on what feels right for you. So a couple things to note, man. So for ground rules, we are going to always have ground rules within the call. So I want to go over some of the base ground rules that we have. Uh, one of the first ground rules is, um, is I statements, right? I statements. What the heck does that mean? I'm glad you asked. So I statements is we want to focus on speaking from the I right? Instead of you. So example is uh, someone could say, well, you know how it is when you talk to someone or you try to reach a goal and you fail to hit it and then you feel like shit. Instead, you say, you know, when I go to reach a goal and I fail to hit it, I feel like shit. The reason why we do it this way is it's an empowerment language. It's a way for us to own our actions in a space that's safe and stable, OK, so whenever we hear, whenever we say you, part of the thing for us and being the support of, uh, in this group of supporting each other is anytime we hear a man say you and it's most likely going to be me guiding this at first, we'll just do this. I this uh, this symbol for I, which is sign or you may hear me say who who um, again, just a way to create empowerment language. Another part is safety, okay? This group is a stable group and it's also a group for us to support each other. So with that, there's gonna be some challenges here because there may be a time when you miss a goal, you fail to hit a goal and there's gonna be an accountability process. Now the accountability process isn't like to scold you or beat you up or be like, you messed up, fucked up. No, it's none of that. It's more about looking like at what went off the rails and then figuring out what we get to do to get back on them, okay? And get to look at something that may have come up that may have been, that may have sidetracked us and it may have been something unconscious that, you know, we think is just procrastination, but really there's something deeper in there. So when it comes to safety, we may go into those types of spaces. The key thing here for safety, take care of yourself. If you need to go use the bathroom, turn yourself off uh, of the video, tell us, hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and go. If something comes up that you need to take a moment, turn your video off or ask the group if you can get a break or just take a pause so we can support you in wherever you are. Listen, we each are going to have our individual goals, and this is a freaking collective. You know, the, the intention of this group is to level up, step our game up and be in a space where we're supported to do so. OK, in the highest order. Confidentiality confidentiality what we speak here is confidential okay you are more than welcome to tell people about your experiences and that could sound like hey you know what when i was in this group man this mastermind group 
uh, Corey said something, that, or actually, instead of saying Corey, when I was in this mastermind group, a guy said something that really resonated deeply with me and had me thinking about how I show up with my bills. Rather than being like, yo, this guy, Corey, was in the group. He said he fucked up with his bills. And, you know, and, and then this woman kicked him in the shin. No, no. Keep another man's name out of your mouth, okay? If you want to speak about something about the group, speak about it from your perspective and how something impacted you and be free of talking about anyone else. And punctuality. There's punctuality piece. Again, I mentioned that it will start at seven. There'll be a five-minute buffer to kind of like check in and then five, 705 or 605 rather, we kick this shit in. All right. We will we will end at 715 on our calls. If for any reason we may go over, I will highlight that to the group 10 minutes before the group. So if anyone has to leave at 715, we'll make sure that we clean them up in integrity so they could check out. OK. Intention, level up, get support, get uncomfortable, get uncomfy and have an accountable, stable space. So men, how this is gonna work is when we have our calls, this is the layout, all right? Now, uh, the first thing is gonna be our check-in, our ground rules. Every week, we're gonna go over the same. It's ingraining, right? It's like when Eric was talking about, hey, every day you had whatever it takes. It was basically like a way of keeping us in alignment and keeping you in track to get that goal done and be in account, right? So for this, like we want to make sure that every week we have our check-in, we have our ground rules. So we, we, we highlight that. Now we're going to create a section for celebration. All right. How many men are, are used to celebrating when you win? I'm going to put my hand out because I don't celebrate shit. I'm usually like, oh, I got to get on to the next thing. I got, I got to do the next thing, right? So we want to make sure I, 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 in this group, we take time to celebrate. We celebrate each other, man. We get to learn what it's like to be celebrated. Okay. Once we celebrate, then we go into our goals review. Okay. Now, um, the goals review, I'm going to show you that in a second. All right. Or when we get to the tools, the goals review is going to be our opportunity to look at what we committed to the last week. What was the result? And in that review, it's a little bit about, hey, you know, I, I had a goal to do this. I had a goal to edit three chapters. I edited three chapters. What I found out about myself was what I learned about my situation was, hey, what I felt when I did that was, okay? Now, it could also be in the part where it's like a goals review is like, hey, I committed to uh, editing three chapters. I edited two. What I found was the week got busy, blah, 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 this, that, that, this. Now, in this scenario, because I did miss my commitment, this is when accountability and support comes in. So for Eric and Dan that have uh, gone through the New Warrior Training Adventure, um, we have an accountability process with the Mankind Project. So the accountability process that we have through this is really a, a collection of the MKP way and it's something I learned in gratitude as far as a way of getting to the facts of what you committed to, what got in the way, okay? Uh, what's the story? Uh, uh, what's the story that you're telling so yourself about it, right? And then moving past that, right? And there's, some, there's more steps to that, but basically it's like looking at what got in the way, what was the story there behind it? right? And what do you want to do to, to course correct, right? Is there something that we have to scale or support that you need? And that's where the next section comes in. Because, because this is a collective, I think we're going to end up having about, uh, I think like eight men, seven or eight men. This is an opportunity where if you missed a goal, or even if you made a goal, you can ask a man to be support for you going into the next week. This is going to be part of our buddy system. Now, after we go through our goals review and the accountability process, we're going to have a member focus or tips and suggestions. Now, what the member focus is, just to call just to pause for a second, what the member focus is going to be about is a man can bring their scenario to the circle. So what that means is if you're having a challenge, if you have something big coming up the following week, this is your opportunity to come to the space and then talk to what's going on for you, 
like what you got coming up. All right, this is traditionally called a hot seat, okay? And this is an opportunity to really like, okay, you're, you're on the hot seat. This is the time for you to tell us what's going on. And us as a collective support group will get to ask you questions, challenge you, invite you to, uh, invite you to look at something differently that maybe you have yet to see. So the member focus is about us. Maybe if there's something that we want to bring, suggestion, maybe um, things to know, things we want to learn, uh, support for um, business, this is where we bring it to the group, okay? Now, if there's a man that's like, if no man is, is up for the member focus, then this is our time where we can give tips or tools that we've leveraged the previous week, okay? It's about a level up. All of us are in different industries and that's, that means nothing, okay? Because we can still support each other and you never know who you know that can help someone that you know, all right? After we do that, man, then that's when we're gonna, that's when we're gonna set in for our goals. And what I mean by that is that's when we, um, oh, you have a question? Yeah, can you just go back to the, the, the buddy system that you were describing in the, in the step before that? Yeah. Is that, you know, is that optional? Is that self selected? Like, do I, like, I'm looking for a buddy this week, Eric, you know, I'm hoping you'll support me. Like how, yeah. how does, how does that whole, you know, how are you seeing that unfold? I love it. Thank you for that. Um, so how that unfolds is there's going to be a buddy system throughout this. So men are going to be paired up. Okay. Uh, now, each week, a man's going to be paired up with a man. So that's going to be your accountability buddy, like your check-in buddy. Now, you can self-select because as you go through the circle, if you heard something from another man that you say, shit, you know what? I could, really, yo, I could use support from you, man. Are you open to supporting me? Okay. So it is a self-selection and there will be a buddy system throughout this. So like, I find that whenever there's a buddy system, when things get really difficult throughout the week, yes, I'm a resource and your buddy's also a resource. So if you're like, damn, man, it looks like I may not make this goal. Okay, let's talk about it, man. What's going on? Everything good? How can I support you? That conversation is up to how you and your buddy structure it. You and your buddy, though, will have an opportunity to connect throughout the week, at least one time, at least one time throughout the week to give each other kudos, high five and support as needed. Uh, Corey, that, did that help out with your question? Perfect, thank you. Okay. You're welcome, man, no worries. Um, so man, after we, have, um, after we have that space, that member share, that member focus, and then the, the accountability or the tips and suggestions, then we're gonna go to our goal set. So what's the goal that we're, that's what's the goal that we're getting off, getting on for the following or for the week upcoming, okay? We clamp that we set those in stone, then we check out. Simple as that. Now, there's a couple of things that I want to talk to that I think are, are going to be important for us all to know um, as I prep this next slide for us, right? Um, when we're doing this, there's something uh, I like to I like to call this, we're going to be laser with it. All right. What the hell does that mean, Paul? I'm glad you asked. So when we say we're going to be laser with it, that means just the facts, gents. Okay, just the facts. So what I mean by that, the who, what, where, when, why of a situation. Actually, the who, what, where, when of a situation. The why can get you in the story. The thing is, this, this type of way of doing things is, um, uh, Carl Jung had this, uh, talked about the archetype of the warrior. And it's a divine masculine trait that we're doing here with this because it means that we're being direct with what's coming out of our mouth. Now, there may be time you got to pause, collect your thoughts, think. And hey, guess what? As we're figuring this out, there may be some times when you just freaking babble. I don't know. And guess what? You got your team here that's going to help steer you, guide you. And in the beginning, as we all get set with this, I'll be the model for this, right? Um, to make sure that we keep ourselves on time and we keep ourselves online. When we get in story, shoot, what you know, so, something that happens, you get on story, God, God. Well, this happened, then I, then you're gonna blame this person, and then oh my God, the wind was northwest and at 15 miles per hour, I couldn't freak, I couldn't do this. 
bull crap. Let's get out of the story. Let's stick with the facts and move from that place. We all in agreement? Fresh. And I'll remind us as we go forward. It's all good. Now, here's what we, here's when we go about our tools. And obviously, I'm gonna, I just want to get a couple things um, set here, all right? Um, because I want to show these tools that we have. Uh, so bear with me one, one second, gents. Um, all right, so here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share the screen. So the tools that we're going to have with this, men, are these three, okay? We talked about accountability. We have a weekly schedule template. We have a goal tracker sheet, okay? Now, I am going to show you all of these right now. Hold on, yep. Um, so stop share, okay. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, now, uh, can, I, can you men see the screen with these damn graphs on here? Yeah, okay. Now, part of us being in this mastermind and staying on task is us being very efficient and effective with our time. I know everybody talks about money and health, and those are all extremely important things. And time is a valuable resource. Because if I fail to carve out time to figure out how I'm making money and then make the money, or if I fail to carve out time for my health, it doesn't mean shit. Health and money don't mean shit. All right. So a couple of things here. We talked about the accountability and there's also a weekly, um, there's a weekly calendar, a weekly schedule. So one of the things I got to have in here for you men, if right now you're like, OK, I want to organize my time. There is a weekly schedule, a.m. and p.m. in a folder that I'm going to be sharing with all of you men that you can access and use at any time. All right. Do I have mine? Um, Oh, no, it's not. I have to work. So it, what this is here is as you build out your time, this gives you the ability to put in like carve out when's your time for work? When's your time for um, your family? When's your time for health? When's your time to break? When's your time to slow down and restore? When is your time for this? So you have these de this data here. And even at the bottom, there's a little box if you want to put in notes. So make up as many sheets as you want and get organized with your time, okay? Um, I'll send out, I gotta get my sheet in my bag. So I'll send that out as an example so you guys have that. Now, each week, okay, we have our goals tracker, all right? So each man is gonna have their own column. Now, each week, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm the administrator of the group, right? And I'm going through it too because I wanna finish up the editing on my, or, or get some stuff, to, get stuff done with the book. So we're going to have, it's going to be week ending. So in this case, it will be week ending April 15th. So I'd say week of, or I'm going to actually make it even more clear. Um, I'm going to say week ending April 15th, April 17th. All right. Now in here, we'll have our goal. When we come back the next week, when every man checks in, I'm going to be at the controls. What's the result? What did you learn? All right. Why are we doing this? I'm glad you asked that too. The reason we do this is because we can always go back and we can always look back. Because what I find is that when I'm in the midst of creating big shit, I fail to look back at what I've accomplished. So this is our opportunity to look back and be like, yo, man, oh, damn, I did do that. And also, you can look back at another man's goals and be like, you know what? I think I think Dan can help me with this. I think Justin's a good cat to talk to about this. Yo, let me. I'm going to give him a call. All right? So this goal sheet is also going to be accessible. At the end of the call, we mentioned that we're going to have our goal set. Want to make sure that we're aware here. The call and session may be potent, so you may fail to have a goal at the end of the call. The agreement is that we have the goal in this sheet by end of day on Monday, okay? 
When I go on, when I go back, when I go check this on Tuesday, if I fail to see your goal for the weekend, I'm calling. All right. Cause I want to make sure that I keep, I, I support you, man, and staying on task. And also I can support you, man, in defining a goal. Okay. That's going to be the big challenge. And that's where we really want to get tight and concise. Okay. Um, now that's, those are the, those are the sheets. Those are the tools that we have. Any questions on the tools? So if I want a phone call from you, I just don't fill anything in there, right? That's right. Yep. That's right. You know, cause eight o'clock, bloop, bloop. yo, E, what up, bro? Where's your goal, son? Yo, you better get, get your ass, get off your ass, boy. All right. So. Yeah, so exactly, because I, I, I really care about I really care about this and I care about you men. And I'm telling you, Dan will tell you when we had these weekly check-ins and we held each other accountable, big shit happens. Big shit. Cool. You, well, yeah, I'm wondering, Paul, if like, okay, you know, we get the call on Tuesday from you if, if we don't put in the in the in the sheet. Yeah. But our our you know, you're going to be looking at the stuff. Are, are you, or maybe our buddy, I'm just wondering, like, you, do you look at it and go, you know what? Come on, Corey, that's some weak ass shit you put in there this week. Like you could do better than that. Like, you know, is, is there an expectation that, you know, in terms of the count, the accountability yeah. to, you know, I, I guess challenge us to, you know, level up in that, in that, in that way is, is that, yeah. is that cool? Is that, is that an expectation or what, what's, yeah. what's happening there? I, I, what I'm hearing in your question is, is like, listen, if, if I, if I perceive that your goal is weak as shit, am I going to be challenging you on it? Is that what I'm hearing? In as much words. <laughs> that's, what, that's what you're hearing. Yes. <laughs> all right. So, so that's going to be more of a situational thing, right? Especially as we all get to know, especially as I, I get to know you and I, I know you all. Um, and um, if you're coming off a loss from the first, from the week prior, right. And we're looking to get a win. My encouragement is to get a win, right. Get back on track. Right. The thing is, is if you had a loss and, and there's something that came up that, that previous week and now we're getting back and now you figure out something, get back on track. It's I, I'm going to be free of perceiving it's weak and be like, OK, let's get this win. Now, if you've been right, if you've been consistently getting wins and you come up with this bullshit like, hey, man, I'm going to walk up and down my stairs two times. Best believe I'm going to be challenging your shit. Best believe I would be challenging you. All right. Cool. Yep. So, yeah. So it is situational, man. Um, and that's the beauty of this group. Like we want to get the wins, man. We want to ingrain in ourselves what it is to win, what it is su to support and what it is for success. That's what it is, man. We got this in us. That's why we're here. <laughs> that's why we're here. You know, so to answer your question, it's situational. And it's like, you know, as the, as the admin or facilitator, what have you, the group, I want, I would check in and see how it feels for you. You know what I mean? My perception is my perception. I'm, folk, I'm keeping my perception on my shit. For you all, I'm staying judgment free. All right. Because I just want to encourage and steer and guide. So that's where that is, man. Uh, any other questions before we move on? Thank you for that, Corey. For our resources, we talked about the buddy, the, the group support and the buddy check-in. Um, what, whenever we get, and we're going to have, again, I think, I think it's going to be seven guys that we have, that we'll have consistently in the group. So there's going to be a spreadsheet, spreadsheet with our contact information. Now, men can join from after this point, like, cause I'm going to have you all, all you men check in. I'm going to send you all the, the, the calendar or that, that goal tracker. And then play around. Like if you have a goal already, put your goal in, right? And then when we come back on Sunday, that's when we set in, we get our goals and we commit. Um, for anyone that you want to invite into the group, here's how it goes. Um, they fill out that application that you all filled out, all right? And um, then before, because this is kicking off, before they get started, they will need to have a goal that they want to accomplish, okay? 
I will be connecting with them. I'll be talking to them through the process and they'll get this video that we have here. And I'm going to help them set the goal so that they can hit the ground running. Now, um, also with that, man, is I'm opening this up to personal consultations, all right? This is one of the resources. If throughout the journey, you feel like you you think like, all right, I'm stuck here. I need support. Like, I need guidance. Uh, the consultation is, is far from necessarily being coaching. It's more about unearthing what's going to be a resource that's going to support you moving forward, right? And helping you unearth that or and or helping you move through any energetic stuff that comes up. Because believe me, I'm telling you guys, when it comes to us going for this stuff, man, that's that's outside of what we may have accomplished ever before, it will get rocky. Stuff will come up. Old stories, old belief systems, all that stuff is going to come up. That's where we're here. You have the group. So you can talk to your buddy and check and, and, and check in. And if you're like, I need more assistance, I got you for the console. Okay, we'll set it up and we can talk about what that, and I'll, I'll show you what that looks like, all right? Now, um, one of the things, actually, any questions on the resources, guys? Good, cool, okay. All right, so one of the other pieces, or actually, as we, as we wrap this up here, Okay, open this up, share. So for as far as the resources and as far as just like the investment in the group, like I want to make this as accessible as I can, right? So the suggested mastermind buy-in is $29.97, okay? So once a month, you pay the $29.97. That basically covers everything that we have here, the support um, for the facilitation of the group. If you do want the consults, okay, um, there's two consults within a month for $197. And then there's four consults within a month for 397. Again, this is if you feel you need the extra support. All right. And the mastermind buy-in, like it's why I do this is my concept is that um, since I'm making this as the heal thy man mastermind is something that's going to go with the book for a long time. My intention is that like I have a monthly fee. So at the end of the year, there's a party or celebration for all the men. Long term, like I'm looking for it to be on my uh, on an island or on my land with tiny houses. We have some fires, man. We have some coquito and some juices and grill up some fish and veggies. All right. Some mushrooms. Huh? Some mushrooms. Yep. Some mushrooms too. <laughs> you know, I'm going to rock that tea, baby. You know, I'm going to hook it up. All right. So like, that's my intention with you because like, I feel like if we're going to be in this as a mastermind, we're going to grow together, man. We're going to get to know each other. We're going to get to support each other in ways so I like at the end of this, like we have a celebration um, and, and in celebrate each other, man, and have a good time. So I'm starting off with this, like the price is definitely going to go up once the book comes out. But for right now, it's just something to help me get in the groove of charging. And then also I'm finding whenever people have some sort of investment in something, they stick to it. They stick to it when it's free. They're like, ah, you know what? Blah, 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 blah. Ah, it's free. Okay. But when there's some skin in the game, man, things change. So this is a minimal investment and that's what it is. Um, and again, it's suggested. So if, if times are tight right now, because I know I've been in that spot too, guess what? Give me a call. Let me know, man. We'll work through this shit. Because it's more important for you to be here than for me to freaking, well, yeah, it's important for me to get the $29. Yeah, and- it's more important for you to be here, bro. That's what that, that's what that is. All right. Any questions on this guys? Good to go. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you all, um, actually I want to check in, um, before I, before I get into the details of closing out, um, let's open this up to questions, thoughts. What are your feelings? What's coming up? Let's talk. Let's chop it up. Wow, I must have done a good job presenting. All right, yes. All right, so um, if questions come up, you're gonna have you're gonna be getting an email from me. And actually, um, I have all your emails. Uh, if questions come up, my contact information will be in there. This week there are no buddies, right? This week there are no buddies. I really want you to focus in, check in with 
what do you want to accomplish? And I'm going to, I'm going to put this prompt in over the, in, in the email. What do you want to accomplish in the next three months, six months, year? Okay. Three months, six months, year. And men, I want you to get as crystal clear as possible. As crystal clear as possible. I, ha I heard this quote today and I'm going to share it with you because like when I was thinking about it, I was like, oh man, this, I'm, I'm sharing this in the group. Um, and when you find out when, what the three, six in, in a year goal is, right? I want you to tell some people or even tell yourself in the mirror. Here's why. Speak what you see and tell what you see until you see what you say. Speak what you see until you see what you say. Start with the vision this week, man. What are you going to accomplish in three months, six months, a year? All right. And then we're going to go into that next week. All right. Um, thank you all for joining the call. For all of you that are watching on the recording, bless up to you for checking in. And I'm excited for you. And I'm, I'm, hmm, I'm excited for this, man. Like, this is crazy. I'm really excited for this. Um, uh, you know, um, this uh, just before before we close out, you know, I was Dan and I were in this group, um, Dick Discipline, and one of the things is the intentions was to leverage sex energy to accomplish something. Like instead of creating physically, we create energetically and we manifest. And I feel like every man in the group did some powerful shit. One of the things is this book, right? That I finished. That last year was a goal, and I failed to finish it, and I completed it with the help of this group. Um, this next phase, I thought that writing the book was tough. And this next phase for me is tougher because like, I'm actually going over and reading what I wrote and I'm having, I'm having vulnerability hangovers. <laughs> like, I can't believe I'm going to put this out here for people to read about me. And I'm, and I'm fucking scared. I got fear. And it's game day bubblies. I know that's what it is. That's why I'm up to big shit. Fear is going to come. And that's one of the reasons I put this mastermind together because I know it's, it's going to be very difficult for me to do this alone. So I want you men to think about what's a goal so big that you've been afraid of? What is it? Yo, speak it, man. Speak it. Bring it to this freaking circle, man, and let's get this shit. All right? Let's get it. Um. <laughs> Well, well just, just to be clear, we're going to meet on Sundays at 6, right? Sunday, yes. Sundays, 6 p.m. Eastern to 7.15 p.m., all right? So I'm going to send you an invite link. It's going to be through Mighty Networks. It's going to be a $29.97. Um, and then you can, you can purchase through there, and then everything will, it will come out once a month, right? And that link will be in the email. Thank you for that, Corey. Thank you. Yep. All right. If you do want to purchase the, uh, if at any point you want to do the personal consulting though, um, you'll let me know and then I can send the invoice and then we go from there. Um, and again, accessibility is the key thing. I want more men to be able to do this. So like rewards will come. This is more about getting that work and that energy moving so we can show up in excellence because man, listen, to me, it's more important that we all show up as our authentic selves, because that's what's going to make the collective elevate. 